Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. So uh, quite a while ago we uh, finished the American campaign and uh, well for quite a while even when we were busy with that DLC there was the Barbary War campaign. So uh, well basically we're gonna start a new campaign the Barbary War. The mighty Barbary states of North Africa typically Ottoman regions actually autonomous kingdoms of dreadful pirates and corsairs. They bring terror on the southern European coastal towns and villages and attack the ships in the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. They capture Europeans and Americans for the Arab slave market in North Africa or to hold them captives for ransom. I was called to put an end to the scourge of the seas. Okay, so, um, it's difficulty. Yeah, we're gonna have medium While difficulty. While the Berbers are raiding, they keep an army to protect their lands. And, uh, Berber medium difficulty. can easily turn into a ferocious crew for a warship. Um, adaption. Yes. Uh, none of this changes anything. Well, we'll go with the classic John Paul Jones, and uh, we'll begin our campaign. It's gonna be the first campaign in a long while. The Treaty of Paris in 1783 ended the Revolutionary War, and by 1785, Congress had disbanded the Continental Navy and sold the remaining ships, putting me out of a job. There was a general lack of money, a loose confederation of the states, and more concern being placed on domestic affairs. I returned to a peaceful life, and only stories with old friends remind me of the cruel battles at sea and land. This banding of the navy was soon proved a big mistake. Leaving our sea trade without protection, our merchant ships became the favorite prey of the Barbary Corsairs when approaching the Atlantic coast of Africa or sailing in the Mediterranean Sea. These Berber pirates and privateers are based in North Africa ports and launch attacks on ships or raids on the European southern coast. Our government agreed to pay tribute to stop the attacks, another short-sighted decision that soon proved also wrong. So we begin with one grand, three vessels. Um, some sea service muskets, 12 pounders, 9 pounders, 6 pounders. Um... Some, a bunch of research already done. Might have to take a look at that later. And we have 10 command points. Uh, let's see. Luck. That one is always good. And... Uh, reputation points is probably good. Um, let's go with, uh, a bunch of crew healing. That should be good. Admiral, we committed a big mistake ignoring your warning to not disband the Navy. Our sea trade is under attack and we have no way to protect it. There is a program for the construction of six heavy frigates, but it will take some time before they are ready for duty. Meanwhile, we need to buy valuable time. So we've come in an agreement with Chip Chipolo... Tripolitian pirates to pay them a tribute for stopping their attacks. You've been assigned to, sorry, to command a small fleet with the task of transferring the next payment to Tripoli. Your mission is to deliver the payment and remain in the area. Try to improve our relations with all the Barbary states. Our objective is to buy time with the least cost in tributes until we have again a strong, strong navy and then, why well, don't say we can upgrade our relations with the Barbary states. The United States of America put so much work into founding a nation, but was it all for nothing? Our economy exists only to fund pirates. Our military is a shadow of its former glory. Our pride is in tatters. Diplomatic standing, non-existent. It's John Paul Jones, the messiah, that can change this nation's course and restore our pride. How can this be done? By continuing the humiliating policy of paying a tribute? Well, no, of course not. And we're gonna go to the first battle, Ransom. I'm happy to... Be being again on the deck of a ship in the service of the United States. A sh small ship, no doubt, and a least honorable mission. My first task was to deliver the usual tribute payment to Tripoli, loaded on USS Siren. I am also ordered to remain in North Africa and try to improve our relations with the Barbary states. 
The bad thing with paying a tribute to the pirate is that more of them will also attract to attack you for achieving such an agreement. We are a few miles west of Gibraltar Strait when pirate ships sighted sailing on us. We soon realized that it was not some kind of welcome committee or an escort force. Most likely they were Moroccan or Algerian corsairs that smelled the gold and were coming for it. Oh, we'll follow the orders and uh, we'll uh, go to battle. Um, we'll do uh, USS Essex, Enterprise and Nautilus. We don't have much choice, do we? And let's start the battle. Captain, we must protect the siren until reaching the safe zone. There are only two pirate ships sailing on us. They are not a real threat for our fleet, but it is more than certain that more of them will come for the gold. We can either keep our course to the safe zone or deal with them now. What are your orders, Captain? Um, we'll send the USS Essex and the USS Enterprise straight for them. What's her armament? 18 pounders, 9 pounders. You have 26 pounders. You have 9 pounders. Uh, we'll stick you... Um... You'll also try to head a bit uh, upwind. They, at last, they have the weather gauge. Let's turn you around so that you can get the cannons to bear quickly. Another pirate is here. Cool. We'll uh, deal with them as uh, the time comes. We're going to try to capture as many vessels as possible. We have a rather small fleet. And I want to press these vessels into service. Enterprise, that was a terrible showing. Like, bro, that was no joke. A joke. Oh well. We'll uh, just keep on pressing on. It looks like they'll actually be uh, prioritizing the Nautilus and the Siren. Uh, let's have you slow down. I don't mind, we just need to save the USS Siren. We can do that. Oh, artillery shock, excellent. Uh, had more uh, downwind so that you can get some speed. Press a bit more sails. Nautilus, you only had six pounders, right? Yeah. Oops. Um. Let's have the Siren and the Nautilus try to deal with the Badi Nusret. And the USS Enterprise and the Essex will uh, try to deal with the Bed. Bedri Safir. However you pronounce it. Okay, go for attack. Don't go for attack yet. Actually, you just hold your course and try to intercept the... Uh, Berg. Um, do one more broadside and then load the uh, grape. Oh, you had on your current course a uh, way anchor. Oh, hit the uh, Badir if you can. Never mind, you won't be able to. Why are you not firing? Uh, sure, get that uh, broadside out. Oh. 
You had full speed ahead to get the uh, Badi Nusret. You've, you've received quite a beating as well already. Load the grape. You'll also try to hit the uh, Badi Nusret. Oh, well, that's an inconvenient that the Nautilus is already uh, kind of wavering. Really, not a single hit. Okay, a single hit. Really. Okay, the Na Nautilus gained some morale again. Okay, that was terrible shot shooting siren. Um, sail, you full sail ahead. Ah, a couple of kills. Certainly a step up. for attack oh I see another vessel on the map all the way over here should be doable damn that's a lot of list Uh, you have ball loaded. Let's get a broadside of ball in. Apparently both sides firing. Excellent. How's it going chasing this guy? It's going. Uh, let's uh, slow down, get those guns to bear. Come on, fire. And then set full sail ahead. Ah, oh, excellent. Hey, full sails. Uh, oh, more sails. Oh. Oh wait, there is actually more. This is starting to get a bit busy. We need to hurry it along. Okay, not less, you can do it. Let's send the Nautilus uh, over here. The Siren, I believe, should be able to uh, handle this uh, the body. Actually, let's keep the Nautilus here so that she can uh, transfer her crew. Excellent. More pirates. Oh, right. It's uh, one we I saw earlier. Uh, we might consider loading the ball here soon. Way anchor for now. Way anchor.
Come on, Siren. You can do it. Okay, start to load ball. And you also start to load ball. Ah, perfect. Uh, let's have you head here. You head here. Prepare for uh, boarding. Load ball. Load ball. Um... USS Enterprise, keep on chasing Burke. USS Essex, go for the battery. Oh, Burke has surrendered. Excellent. Start a boarding. Uh, way anchor. Um, go slow. Way anchor, actually. Perfect. Um, price crew, have you GTFO? Excellent. Have you GTFO? Have you sailed that way? Ah, the Nautilus is missing a bow spirit. You had here. You had here. You both got ball loaded. Time for the Enterprise to set sail. Uh, you have grape. Excellent. Okay, we'll have the siren. Gain some, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, some wind. Let's have the Siren and the Enterprise try to engage these two guys. Um, USS Essex will deal with him and after that he'll deal with this guy. Wind changed. Oh, that's potentially problematic. Yeah. We need to adjust our sailing angles a bit. Good. You're fine. Uh, let's have you just weigh anchor next to him. Let's have you turn around to get that broadside going. Let's try to get on his other side. Um, right. Enterprise. Uh, let's have Nautilus try and join here. He'll take possession of the Bedri Safar. Ah, uh, bollocks. Didn't mean to actually crash into him. Didn't lose the bow spirit though, so it could be worse. Come on. Uh, let's have you weigh anchor for now. I don't want any vessel to uh, get in a situation we don't want it to be. Like where they're way overmatched. Hey, funny number. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's uh, weigh anchor for now. Let's have you load the ball. You have ball loaded. You have ball loaded. You have ball loaded. Excellent. Oh, there's... Another one.
Okay, come on. Nautilus, you can do this. The USS Essex will soon have her set sail. Ah, we can wait uh, until uh, the first shots get fired. Okay, let's start to slow you down. Let's uh, start sailing. We anchor. Let's start to sail the Enterprise and Siren to meet the rest of the fleet head on. And we anchor. Excellent. Prize crew. Let's send him away. Let's send you this way. Just cut the rope. You can weigh anchor, you set sail. Okay, we have four vessels remaining. We have uh, to kill and we have or uh, capture rather. I'd prefer to capture all of them. Just to start amassing a huge fleet ASAP. Okay, I don't know what they are doing. We'll keep the USS Nautilus around to take possession of uh, well, the vessel. Let's get our guns to bear. I said let's get our guns to bear. We'll do a couple of broadsides and then we'll uh, start graping them. Okay, let's uh, raise the sails a bit. Come on. Ooh, that was... Not great. At least one more broadside. Uh, full sail. Let's have you join the fray as well, just for uh, fun. Let's have you load the grape, however, already. Okay, let's turn around a bit so we can start engaging them. The Fafie. That's the Kaplan E something, the Edi Nusret. Cool, cool, cool. They'll be hours before, uh, you know. Shots have been fired. Excellent. Uh, you're doing full sail ahead. Excellent.
Um, let's load the grape in the si siren. Okay, good. Yo, Essex. That's just terrible. Do what a USS Enterprise just did. Um, let's load the grape, sure. Have you turn around? Come on, Siren. The Sivan is quite annoying, I do have to say. Let's see, get your guns to bear, Siren. Ah, that's pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. Uh, let's raise the sails a bit here so that we can get another uh, broadside off. We kind of got two distinct engagements going on right now. In some ways, that's quite annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, set full sail. I don't know what it is with the Essex, but she's not doing very well. Let's uh, go for the jibe. You follow along. Get your guns to bear, Nautilus. Oh, that's problematic. I mean, it's somewhat problematic. It's USS Nautilus isn't our main fighting vehicle, fighting ship. It's more just supporting. But that doesn't mean I want to lose her. Let's prepare for boarding. If we can make that. Doesn't seem that way. Alas. It seems also that the possibility of losing the Nautilus is... It's a distinct possibility. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, that's a bit annoying. I had to sneeze, but I didn't sneeze properly, which... I don't handle that well. Oh, thank God. Okay. Nautilus, sail there ASAP. Essex, uh, load ball. Uh, let's see. 
teleport him. We have all loaded. Uh, let's have the USS Enterprise just chill for a moment and load grape. Let's do something more like that. Wait, what? Crew shock, nice. Slowly sailing. Uh, weigh an don't weigh anchor, but just slow down significantly. Come on, any day now. Uh, turn around to get your guns to bear. How's it going over here? Why are you not shooting? Probably that's why. Okay. You're going full sail. Ah, you need to turn around again. They're in crew shock. He's, this guy's very slowly getting there. Okay, let's have you turn around to try and get the Fateye. Hopefully the Fateye stops burn, burning soon. Let's actually stay away from the Fateye while it's burning. I'd rather it not blow up while we're in the vicinity. Okay. Way anchor. Excellent. Uh, one more broadside like that and we'll start with the grape. I have a feeling that the five might uh, blow up. <laughs> well, I was right. Uh, solid, start a boarding action. Come on, Siren. You can do it. Um. Oh, excellent. Um, Siren. Here we go. Enterprise, you will uh, try to back up the Essex. Uh, but we're uh, ready to go again. Uh, actually, let's uh, get the Nautilus to send over a boat. Make sure you don't sink. Um... Let's have you sail over here. You keep weight anchor for now. Okay, Essex, now we can uh, put our full focus on you. Uh, we'll start sailing the siren. 
away just to get away. That is our uh, goal, end goal after all. Um, excellent. Load the grape. The fire is uh, potentially worrisome. Fires are generally considered pretty bad on ships. Especially wooden ships. There's a lot of uh, burning material on a wooden ship after all. Or at least last I checked. Wood tends to be rather flammable. Okay, excellent. Let's also speed up matters a bit. Will she be able to... Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, way anchor. Uh, let's see if we can uh, say hello to her. Let's sail slowly ahead. Come on, Edie. Let me board you. Here we go. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, one destroyed. We have some damage. Uh, one wounded. Loads of goods, though. Always good to see. Okay, um... The enemy commander has contacted me and is offering to pay a ransom for safe return of captured men. Uh, 371 prisoners for 927 gold? Yes, I'll take it. Ransom, at least we made that the attempt. Next time I shall be better prepared. So head over to the next stage. After the last outrageous attack of the pirates on your ships, the Congress decided to change our policy against all Barbary states. You can consider that we are in a state of war with those pirates. You've been authorized to proceed in an appropriate measure you think necessary to protect the interests of the United States. We've contacted an agreement with Ferdinand IV of the Kingdom of Naples to use the port of Messina, Syracuse, as naval bases to launch operation against the pirates. Soon, the first heavy frigate is expected to sail and join your fleet under your command. War with the Barbary States. Congress decided to stop the humiliating status of paying a tribute to the pirates of Northern Africa. The war is inevitable along with the restart of the pirate attacks on our ships. Can the John Paul Jones stop the abuse of the American pride? Stop the abusing of the American pride with so limited means available. We shall do our best. So, I will get stuff prepared for uh, next episode so we can start next episode with a bang immediately. Uh, so we have a Swedish captive mission. These are side missions, I believe. And uh, the Pillage of Hercules, where we can bring six ships in totals. Okay. Uh, let's see. Repair our ships. Ah, we get the siren. Let's uh, prioritize getting our uh, ships to optimal crew. Um, let's see here. Uh, what can we do? Um... Better sale. Let's do better sale purchases since we're about to buy some stuff. I want to buy some naval or uh, land weapons since we don't have. Oh, I'm 1728 with bayonet. I'm 1728 with bayonet. Yes, excellent. You do similar. I do want to buy some land weapons, though, but we'll do that later since we can avoid. 
So uh, we can bring six ships and to these ones up to four. We have four. Uh, let's add. We have 30 points. Let's add you to fleet. Let's add you to fleet. Add you to fleet. Send you to Admiralty. Send you to Admiralty. And we'll see what we do with the last one in a bit. Optimal crew. Uh, we have enough bayonets. We need officers. Let's avoid those that require reputation for now. Um, we have some of those. I would have liked to uh, get um, ones with bayonets for better boarding. But it looks like that's not possible. Let's see. Okay. So we have four, seven vessels. Let's see. Um, it requires four ships to get 100%. Okay, that requires two ships. Um, let's see, what kind of cannons are we talking about? Six pounders, 30 of them. Nautilus has six pounders, 20 of them. Seventy percent. If we do, we have nine ships. One, two, four hundred, right? Uh, one, two. Ooh, shit. I miscalculated. Three, four, five. So now I have five. We'll add you to fleet. We'll get optimal crew, just the basic stuff. Um, we will... This is miss you. You will at least have a captain. But the Kaplan... We'll go here. 62%. Okay. And in the next episode, we'll go Pillage of Hercules. But that's for the next episode. So I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.